grace, peace, mercy to all of you this day. Thank you for hopping on uh, for another one of our midweek here devotions here on our YouTube channel, Pastor JT with you once again. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at a particular story from the Hebrew Scriptures. We're going to be looking at the prophet Jeremiah. So Jeremiah chapter 31, and we'll share verses 7 through 9 together today. So if you have your Bible uh, next to you, you want to crack it open, go ahead and find Jeremiah, uh, the 31st chapter, and look for verse 7. If you don't have access to a Bible right now, don't worry. As always, I will read the story for you. But first, let's, uh, let's center ourselves for this devotion with a word of prayer. Ever-present God, through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, you make a promise to be with us no matter what. Help us to remain faithful in all circumstances, knowing that you are with us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'm going to guess that you're probably familiar with the song, you know, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Uh, it's a, a, a Christmas hymn that we often will sing. You know, it's a song that kind of details the, the shepherds, you know, shouting and that Jesus is born. Which is something we like to do, right? When we have good news to share, we want to share it. We want to shout it from mountaintops and rooftops. Or, or in this day and age, we definitely want to put it on social media so everyone can see and experience and share in this good news. You know, but what about when things are not going our way? I mean, it's easy to share good news when things are going our way, but when, when things aren't going, do we really... Shout with gladness then? I mean, do we? Well, that is exactly what the prophet Jeremiah is calling the people of Israel to do. And so here again, Jeremiah 31 verses 7 through 9. For thus says the Lord, Sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shout for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I'm going to bring them from the land of the north and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth. Among them, the blind and the lame, those with child and those in labor together, a great company, they shall return here. With weeping they shall come, with consolations I will lead them back. I will let them walk by brooks of water in a straight path on which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn." Now, Jeremiah, he's speaking to people who were defeated, who had been dispersed in foreign lands and a physical and emotional exile. Yet, despite the situation, the prophet calls them to shout with gladness. In spite of the hardship, Jeremiah urges the people to continue to shout with gladness amidst their distress. And why does he do this? Well, because of hope. And Jeremiah speaks words of promise and hope to the people, you know, saying to them that God was going to lead them back, that that's the promise. This was a, a call of, uh, for Jeremiah for the people to remain faithful. It was a call to faithful action and trust in the promises of God, even amidst their suffering. And Jeremiah encourages them to continue to act in praising God. And trusting that God would save them. And God did. And God made a way for them to return home. And we too, we might experience you know, many forms of exile in our own lives. Maybe not being dispersed in foreign lands, but definitely feeling far from uh, maybe people, um, ourselves. But through them all, what Jeremiah reminds us is to continue to continue into a faithful action and trust. Right? Because no matter what the circumstances are, no matter how we might feel exiled in, in whatever way that is, God is still present and God's promise is to lead us back home, lead us back to a place of wholeness and healing. Let us close with a word of prayer. Holy God, Empower us to continue to be faithful, to continue to trust in you, in your presence, regardless of the circumstances, and especially in those moments where we feel we are in exile, that we are cut off far from you and from others. 
Remind us that you are with us, that you journey alongside us through all of our life. Whether it's good or bad, you are there, strengthening and empowering. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everyone, for hopping on today. Uh, We'll be back at it again next week. Uh, And until then, I hope you have a blessed rest of your week. God bless you all. Have a great day.